Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can mute your guitar with your left hand. There are a couple of ways in which we can mute with our left hand whilst we're playing. Mostly it is used when strumming chords, but you can definitely use it when you're playing just single notes as well. I'm going to show you that in a moment. To begin with, we're just going to use a chord as an example. And this one I'm going to use the G chord. The first way to play the G chord is right here. But specifically for this, I'm going to start off with the second way to play the G chord, which is right here. Now, why is that? First of all, here, we press down all the strings to get this chord. The only thing we need to do to mute this chord is just stop pressing the strings and just hold our hand there. When I just hold it without pressing the strings, I get this. So my chord is muted right now. To show with an example what the effect of that can be, and that can add some rhythm to your chords, I showed you how to strum chords beforehand. That's a couple of tutorials back. For example, let's take a pace like this. So every time I strum the strings right now, you hear the chord G very clearly. If we mute some of these strums, then we can get something like this, for example. I did exactly the same thing with my right hand as I did before. The only thing that I changed is sometimes I stopped pressing the strings with my left hand, which mutes my chord. Now, why did I start off with the second way to play it? That's because I can just mute simply by holding my hand in the same position because all the strings right here are covered by my fingers. When I go with only the first position of the G chord, this one, not all the strings are covered by my fingers. So when I just stop pressing the strings but hold it in the same position, I get this. And what you hear now are the strings that are not covered by my fingers. So in that case, I need another way to mute the chords. In that case, the easiest thing that you can do is just hold one finger or multiple fingers just on the strings like this to mute all the strings. But you have to change your hand positioning for that, of course. So if I play my chord right here, if I want to mute its sound right now, then I have to move my hand over all the strings. Right? So if I want to have the same rhythm as I showed beforehand with this one, but in the first position, I have to move my hand every time I want to mute them. So that will be something like this. That's a little bit harder than this one. Because in this position, I can just hold my hand right there. I can, of course, in this position also use the method with just placing all my fingers over the strings. So you have multiple options to do this. And of course, the second one that I showed you is a little bit more difficult than the first one. But if you want to use muted chords with the basic chords in the beginning, just like A, G, C, D, E, all these chords will require you to mute the chords by holding your hand over all the strings. There is really no other option than that. Now when it comes to single notes, it's actually pretty simple because if you want to have a single note, for example, let's say the G note, which is on the third fret of the first string here, for example. If we want to use the same rhythm right there, first let's try it without muting. Now if we want to mute, we just hold the finger and stop pressing. All right, so you can use this in multiple occasions. So that can be pretty handy when you want to add some rhythm or a change of pace during playing a song, right? Also in some songs, there are parts in which they don't play any chord at all and just strum the strings, mute it totally like this. just to have some rhythm in there and that's a change of pace as well. So that can be pretty handy to use as well. And that's, that's pretty easy. You can hold your hand pretty much anywhere to have a muted sound. It will sound a little bit different on each position that you hold it, but 
it's not really that noticeable. So guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Next week, I'm going to show you how to use palm muting on your guitar. That will be with our right hand. So stay tuned for that one. Also, don't forget, I have other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. I'm gonna show you that. We're just going to start and pick a random. We're just gonna. Here we. Here we have. So when I'm pressing. So when I press. So when I press all the strings. When I just hold it there without pressing, I did. I get. If we move. If we. If we. If we mute some of these. If we mute some of these. Because all my. Because all the strings I. Because all the strings are covered. When I go with the set, right, the, right, just, just if I want to mute that right now, if I, if I want to mute this, right. So that will. First, let's start it. First, let's try it without. First, try. First, try it without. All right. So that was. So that is really. So that can be pretty handy to use when you want. To, so that can be pretty. So that can be pretty. So that can be pretty handy. It has. Next week I'm gonna. So definitely. So definitely. So so stay tuned for.